Hey there, it's Artemis Cantalides, owner of Iron Body Training Systems, Iron Body by Artemis, and the Women's Strength Workshop, I'm Not Afraid to Lift. Today I wanna to talk to you about the hard style power breath and how it can help you with your lifting. So your breath can make or break you. So if you're holding your breath, that can break you. If, if you don't, if you're not in tune with your breath as you're going through your lifts, that can also break you. In hard style kettlebell training, we have a, a power breath that we use to help brace our abdominals while we go through our lifts and we don't even have to think about it. So your diaphragm, it is, it attaches at your lumbar spine and when it is not filled up with air, it looks like a deflated parachute. And when it is filled up with air, it looks like a parachute and it helps to stabilize your spine. So that's what bracing your core is. So when you're bracing with a diaphragmatic breath properly, it's going to help to stabilize your spine. And that's what, when people say like, brace your core, brace your core, that's what brace your core means. So in hard style kettlebell training, what we do is we do something called breathing behind the brace. So, or breathing behind the shield. So that means we inhale, we bring that air into our diaphragm, and then we slowly, as we keep some of that air in our diaphragm, as we slowly exhale. And it sounds a little bit different for uh, our grinds, our strength movements, which are presses and squats and um, Turkish get-ups, than it does when we're doing ballistics. Our ballistics are our kettlebell swings, kettlebell snatches, kettlebell cleans. So what I want you to do is you're, I want you to go ahead and take your hands, put them on your hip bones, and I want you to inhale nice, deep belly breath. Just inhale nice and relax, like you're in a yoga class, fill that air. Feel that belly up, your belly up with air, inhale, and then exhale. And just feel that everything's really relaxed. You feel your belly rise and fall. Let's do it again. And then exhale. Now what I want you to do, keep your hands on your hips here. I want you to inhale the same way, bring all of that air into your belly. And then when you exhale, I want you to press your tongue to the roof of your mouth. And I want you to slowly push that air out around your tongue. So now we're gonna pressurize that breath. And what you should feel with your hands here is you should feel your abdominals tense up. So you're gonna do this, inhale, bring that air into your belly, tongue to the roof of your mouth. And you're gonna feel right here, everything get really tight and tense. That's your core bracing. So that, that sound, that is the hard style power breath that we use in hard style kettlebell training. And that's the, the quick, that's the sound that you're gonna hear when you're doing a kettlebell swing. So we inhale through our nose on the back swing, and then we exhale, we exhale, tongue to the roof of our mouth, push that air out around our tongue when our hips finish. So that quick breath is what it's gonna sound like when you're doing ballistics, swings, cleans, snatches. Now, a grind is gonna sound more like a radiator releasing steam. Grinds are the presses, the strength movements, the squats, the Turkish get up. So when we're pressing, we're gonna inhale, so we'll do our clean, and then we're gonna exhale. So you're inhaling through the nose and then exhaling through the mouth as your tongue is pressed to the roof of your mouth. And that way you're helping to brace your core simply through your breath and you don't have to think about it at all. Now, at first, when people first start doing this breath, they find that uh, they, they are short of breath, like it's challenging until they get used to it. But then once they get used to it, they find that having this breath not only does it make them stronger because they're holding on to this tension, they're learning how to brace their core through using their breath, but they also find that, especially with kettlebell swings, it helps to, to generate a nice rhythm for your lifts, right? So, right? Or even when you're, when you're doing a press. Or even a squat, right? Coming up. So it helps to generate a nice rhythm and it's a way to brace your core without even having to think about it. So give it a try, let me know what you think, and let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to send me a message and ask me any questions. Thank you very much, talk to you soon.